Hi, welcome to Sports School's Yoga Center. My name is Erica Schnicki, and I'm going to take you through a strong level 2-3 vinyasa flow class. This practice is going to leave you feeling strong, yet supple, invigorated, and relaxed. So we're going to start out today in child's pose. Knees apart or together. Extend your arms way out in front of you and relax your forehead down. Pause here a moment to connect to your breath. So take a really deep breath in and let it out completely. Good. And then on an inhale, come up, curl your toes under, and press back to downward facing dog. So in downward facing dog, you're trying to lengthen your spine. You do that by reaching your sternum forward, but drawing your hips back at the same time. Ground down evenly through your palms. Even push through your fingers and your fingertips. It's almost like you're gripping the floor. And as you push the floor away, see if you can use your strong legs to pull your hips back. Firm your outer wrists towards each other, your outer arms towards each other. Feel the stability in your arms. Draw the breath all the way into the backs of your thighs. From here, on an inhale, bring your shoulders over your wrists. Come into a push-up position. Take another deep breath in. On the exhale, you're going to slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Uncurl your toes. On an inhale, come into cobra pose. So palms are spread. Pull with your hands. You'll feel your back ribs pulling in towards the front of your body. And pin your shoulders back and down. Now reach your legs long. Push into the tops of your feet. Take one more deep breath here. Exhale, lower your torso down. Curl your toes under. Press back to downward facing dog. Then on an inhale, bring your shoulders over your wrists again. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, lower down four inches off the floor. On an inhale, roll onto the tops of your feet. Come into upward facing dog. Pin your shoulders back. Reach your legs really long. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more deep breath here. Exhale it out on no breath. Step or lightly jump your feet to your hands. Separate your feet hips distance. Grab your elbows, hang forward. So lift your toes off the floor, spread them out, then lengthen them back down. Ground down through your heels and draw your quads way up. So as your strong legs are working, see if you can spill forward out of your hips, just kind of dangle and hang. And then again, from here, draw a really deep breath in. Exhale it out through your mouth. and then release your hands to the floor. Step your feet all the way together. Bend your knees slightly. Ground down through your heels and firm your outer thighs towards each other. Then from here, place your hands on your hips. Come to a flat back. So elongate evenly through the front and back side of your torso. And as you do this, pin your shoulders back and down. Now either stay here or if your hamstrings are open enough, Work your legs towards straight, but make the flat back a priority. So legs ground down, and the more you push into the heels, the more you can pull your spine forward. It's almost like a string is pulling your, pulling your sternum towards the front of the room. And then from here, airplane your arms out to the sides. Take another deep breath in. Exhale it out. Then on an inhale, slowly with the flat back, come all the way up to standing. Press into your feet. Reach through your side waist. Look up. Press your palms into each other. Now keep all that space. Exhale with a flat back. Fold as deep as you can. On an inhale, pull your heart out and up. On an exhale, step back to a plank position and slowly lower down. On an inhale, come into upward dog. Push into your palms. Push into the tops of your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Connect to your breath.
Draw in one more deep, big inhale here. Exhale it out on no breath, lightly. Step or jump your feet between your hands. On an inhale, push into your heels, pull your heart forward. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale with a flat back, come all the way up. Outer thighs firm in, stretch. Exhale, flat back, fold forward. Inhale, pull out and up. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more breath here. And then from here, bring your shoulders over your wrists. Come into a push-up position. Come into side arm balance. Slide your right hand in two inches and down one inch. Roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Stack your left foot on top of your right and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. So try to find mountain pose. Legs strong. Slide your right shoulder blade down your back. If you can, turn your head, look up at your left hand. Take one more breath here. Look at the floor, slowly lower down to plank position. Either press back to down dog or go through the vinyasa. Inhale, stretch, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, bring your shoulders over your wrist. Slide your left hand in two inches and down one inch and roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Stack your right foot on top of your left. Mm -hmm. So push into your heels and pull your sternum in the opposite direction. Reach out of your center. Keep your left shoulder blade sliding down your back. If you can, turn your head, look up at your right hand. One more breath here. Look at the floor, slowly lower down to plank position. Center yourself, get symmetrical. Now take a deep breath in. Slowly, slowly, slowly lower down. Four, three, two. From here, upward facing dog. Stretch your shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, connect to your breath. Over and over again, come back to your breath. Take one more breath here. Then on an inhale, step your right foot between your hands, turn your back foot on its side, place your hands on your hips. Keep your torso close to your right leg. So draw your right hip back and in, and as you pull your left hip forward, push back through your left heel. Then try to pull, reach your ribs out of your hips, so hips shift back, sternum pulls forward. Now keep that long spine, keep your knee bent deep, come up to standing. Release your hands by your sides. On an inhale, reach your arms up. Bend your right knee a little bit deeper if you can. So right hip back and in, left leg strong. Pull your heart out of your back foot. Reach your ribs out of your hips. Take one more breath in here. If you can, press your palms into each other. Then exhale, lower your hands down. Press back into a plank position. Draw a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Lift your heart up, reach your legs really long. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then on an inhale, step your left foot between your hands, turn your back foot flat. Again, place your hands on your hips. So Staying here, staying close to your left thigh, do your best to pull your left hip forward, left hip back, and your right hip forward. Strongly reach through your back leg and ground down through your left heel. Then keeping your hands on your hips, slowly come up to standing. Gently draw your navel in and your front ribs in. So you don't want to sway your back. Your front body draws in. Rotate your back right ribs forward. Bend your left knee a little bit deeper. Then release your hands down. Turn your palms open and reach your arms up. From here, just take three more deep breaths. 
One more breath, push into your heels, reach out of your hips. Exhale, lower your hands down. Step back to plank, slowly lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then from here, again, step your right foot between your hands, turn your back foot flat. This time, just one breath. Inhale, warrior one. Reach out of your hips. Exhale, lower your hands down. Step back to a push-up position, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your left foot between your hands, back foot flat. On an inhale, sink your hips low, reach out of your hips. Exhale, lower your hands down. Step back, lower. Inhale, stretch the front of your body, reach your heart up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one more deep breath here. Exhale it out. Step or lightly jump your feet between your hands. Inhale, pull your heart out and up. Exhale, fold. From here, bend your knees 90 degrees. Rest your chest on your thighs and reach your arms out in front of you. So lift your toes up, spread them out, and firm your outer thighs in towards each other. Legs really strong. Keeping your knees bent this deep, slowly peel your torso off your thighs. Gently draw your navel in. Reach forward through the front and the back side of your torso. Now keep your chest where it is. If you can, pull your arms behind your ears even more. Take one more big breath here. Look up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs, then straighten them. Inhale, pull forward. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot between your hands, back foot flat. Bend the knee deep. Inhale, warrior one. From here, exhale, open up, warrior two. So heel toe your right foot a little bit to the left. Make sure your right heel lines up with the arch of your left foot. And press that right knee towards the pinky side of your right foot. So as you press your right knee open, firm your left quad towards your left hamstring. You're using your strong legs to open up your hips. Lift your ribs up out of your hips, drop your shoulders down, and then fix your gaze at your right middle fingertip. Take three more deep breaths here. One more deep breath. Exhale, lower your hands down to the floor. Press back into a plank position. Draw a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Lift your heart up, reach your legs really long. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your left foot between your hands, your back foot flat. On an inhale, warrior one. On an exhale, open up, warrior two. So your left foot slides a little bit to the right. Put the weight in your heels, relax your toes, and reach from your inner left thigh through your inner left knee. Draw your inner right thigh up towards your hip. Legs are really strong. Lift your ribs away from your hips, drop your shoulders down. Relax your eyes, relax your lips. Connect to your breath. Three, two, one more breath here. Now this time, straighten your left leg. Pivot your left foot in. Interlace your hands behind your back. Make sure the inner edges of your feet are parallel. Draw your quads up, but push your heels down. Take a deep breath in, reach your heart up. Exhale, reach forward, out, and down. Press your palms into each other. Stretch open your shoulders. So with each inhale, see if you can reach your hands further out of your shoulders. With each exhale, soften a little more. One more deep breath here. And then slowly press into your heels, legs strong. With the flat back, come up to standing. Release your arms. Pivot your left foot to face the front of the mat. Step your right foot to meet your left. Back to mountain pose. Connect to your center. And then from here, bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale, chair pose. Just one breath, pull. Exhale, fold forward, then straighten your legs. 
Inhale, pull out and up. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, step your right foot between your hands, turn your back foot flat. On an inhale, come into warrior one. On an exhale, open up warrior two. From here, come into side angle pose. Place your right hand down to the inside of your bent right leg and reach your left arm up. So you want your arm touching your leg. You can help press the knee open using your arm. As you press your right knee open, pull your outer right hip underneath you and firm your left quad towards your left hamstring. Then see if you can draw your sternum out of your hips even more. Turn your left palm to face the front of the room. Draw your shoulder blades down your back and reach your left arm out over your left ear. So don't let, don't let your shoulder crawl up towards your face. Draw the shoulder back and down as you extend. Tuck your chin slightly, look up at the ceiling. Connect to your breath. As you stretch really long, rotate your back right ribs open. Take one more deep breath here. Then reach your left arm back up to the ceiling. Come back up to warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower your hands down. Step your back foot in about a foot. Straighten your right leg and fold forward over your straight right leg. So at this point, your heels are either on the same line or there's a little bit of space between your feet. And draw your right hip back and in and lift the front right hip bone up as you firm your left quad back. Then if you can, lengthen your torso out even more over your straight right leg. Draw in one more deep breath here. And then bend your right knee, step your left foot back, come onto the ball of your left foot, step back into a plank position, another deep breath in, exhale, legs really strong, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, other side. Step your left foot between your hands, back foot flat. On an inhale, warrior one. On an exhale, warrior two. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, left hand down to the inside of your bent left leg, right arm up. Again, press the knee open. As the knee presses open, outer left hip draws in and right quad firms back. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. See if you can reach both sides of your ribs out of your hips even more. Then turn your right palm to face the front of the room. Reach your right arm out over your right ear. So notice there's one straight line of energy from my right heel out through my right pinky finger. Don't let the arm get sloppy. Reach, extend, pull. And then breathe into your entire body. Take one more deep breath here, and then reach your right arm back up. From your left front hip bone, lift up, come into warrior two, then lower your hands down to the floor. Step your back foot in about a foot, straighten your left leg, and fold forward over your straight left leg. Mm -hmm. So as you're in this pose, your legs are strong. The outer thighs firm in towards each other and your sit bones draw towards each other. Then again, see if you can reach your ribs away from your hips, lengthen out even more over your straight leg. Press into the heels, relax your toes. One more breath here, and then bend your left knee. Step your right foot back. Step back into a push-up position. Take a deep breath. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, shoulders draw back. Lift your heart up, reach your legs really long. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna come into dolphin pose. Put your knees down, place your elbows down. Now, unless your shoulders are really tight, make your forearms parallel so your hands are directly in front of your elbows. And again, your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Ground down evenly through your palms. Curl your toes under and straighten your legs. So it's like down dog on your elbows. And then if you have the space, walk your feet as close towards your elbows as you can. So you're strengthening your shoulders by pressing your head as far away from the floor as you can. And then 
Don't let yourself be dead weight on your arms. Gently draw your navel in. So internally reach your hips back and up. Again, ground down evenly through your palms. Push down through your index fingers and stretch them forward. And then stretch your shoulders out by pressing your chest towards your thighs even more. At the same time, lift your sit bones up and reach your heels down. So stretch out the backs of your legs. Either stay here or if you can, inhale your right leg up in the air behind you. Reach the leg really long. So the leg is out pulling your hips up out of your shoulders. Remember to breathe. One more breath here. Then lower your right foot down. Inhale your left leg back and up. Again, if you can't breathe or you're grimacing, take a break, come out of the pose. Mm -hmm. Stretch the leg a little longer. One more breath. Lower your left foot down. Take three more deep breaths here. If you can, push your chest towards your thighs even more. And then if you can, push your heels down, lift your toes off the floor. One more breath. And then place your knees down. Press back to downward facing dog. From down dog, step your right foot between your hands, turn your back foot flat. On an inhale, warrior one. On an exhale, open up, warrior two. We're gonna come into side angle pose again, but this time with your right hand to the outside of your bent right leg. Reach your left arm up. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. And reach your arms out of your center. As you push the knee open, pull your outer right hip underneath you. Keep your left leg strong. And then drop your shoulder blades down your back. This is like side arm balance. Arms reach out of your center. Turn your left palm to face the front of the room. Reach your left arm out, of, out over your left ear. One more deep breath here. Reach your left arm back up. Come back up to warrior two. Keep the knee bent deep and then straighten the leg. From here, triangle pose. Hinge at your hips, lengthen through your right side waist. Lengthen your right hand down, reach your left arm up. So the same instruction as in side angle pose. Firm your right leg into your right arm and keep your left quad pressing towards your left hamstring. And then if you can, cut your outer right hip underneath you even more. Turn your left palm to face the front of the room. Reach your left arm out over your left ear. Deep breaths. One more here. And then reach your left arm back up. Lengthen your left arm alongside your left waist. Look at the floor. Come into half moon pose. So bend your right knee. Step your back foot in a couple inches. And place your right hand a foot in front of your right foot and a little bit to the right. Left leg floats off the floor. Now drive into your right heel, suck your right thigh up into your hip, and strongly from your inner left thigh through your inner left heel, reach your left leg long. Reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. If you can, look up at your left hand, and then really reach all your limbs out of your center. Three more big breaths here. And then look at the floor, bend your right knee, reach your left foot way, way, way back. Again, come into side angle pose. Take as much time as you need to set yourself into the proper pose. And then reach your left arm behind you. Start to turn your chest towards the ceiling. Either stay here or if you can, you'll bend the elbow. And then reach your right hand underneath your right leg and clasp a hold of your left wrist. So again, if you're leaning forward like this, you need to stay at this level. Otherwise, if you can clasp, lengthen, and then revolve it open, do so and breathe really deeply into the twist. Three more deep breaths here. Heels ground down, sternum pulls. And then gently inhale, uh, keep the knee bent, come back to warrior two, and then lower your hands down to the floor, pause here. So come onto the ball of your left foot, slide your right foot a little bit to the left, and drop your left knee to the floor. Straighten your right leg, and stretch out your right hamstring. So draw your right femur bone into your hip as you push out through your right heel and bring your toes up towards your face, spread your toes. So your right leg is really active. One more breath here. And then bend your right knee deep. Place both hands to the inside of your bent right leg. 
Make as much space between your left knee and your right knee as you can. Either stay here or if you can, come on your forearms. Draw the weight of your body forward and then sink low into your hips. And then with each inhale, look for more space inside. And with each exhale, soften, melt into it. So let go of physical effort here. Take one more deep breath here. If you can on the exhale, go in a little bit deeper. And then straighten your arms. Place your right hand on the outside of your right leg. Curl your left toes under. Take your left knee off the floor. Step back to a push-up position. Draw a deep breath in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Press your quads up towards the ceiling. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, other side. Step your left foot between your hands. Turn your back foot flat. On an inhale, come into warrior one. On an exhale, open up warrior two. From here, side angle pose with your left hand to the outside of your bent left leg. Reach your right arm up. Again, press a knee into the arm. Draw your left hip underneath you and firm your right quad towards your right hamstring. Ground down through your heels. Press your left knee into your left arm and firm your outer left hip underneath you. Firm your right quad towards your right hamstring. Reach your sternum out of your hips. And if you can, gently rotate your back left ribs to the right. Then turn your right palm to face the front of the room. Reach your right arm out over your right ear. Mm -hmm. and over and over again, connect to your breath. One more breath here. And then reach your right arm back up. On an inhale, come back up to warrior two. On an exhale, straighten the leg. From here, we're gonna go directly into triangle pose. Hinge at your hips, lengthen through your left side waist. Place your left hand down, reach your right arm up. So ground down through the ball of your left big toe. Draw your outer left thigh towards the inner thigh. And as you do that, press your right quad towards your right hamstring. Legs are really firm. What you wanna do here is stabilize your pelvis and then pull your spine out of your hips but you got to keep your pelvis strong so you can lengthen forward from there. Shoulder blades, like always, right, draw down your back. Turn your right palm to face the front of the room. Keep the right shoulder drawing back and down as you reach your right arm out over your right ear. One more breath here. Reach your right arm back up. Lengthen your right arm alongside your right waist. Turn your head, look at the floor. Bend your left knee, step your back foot in a couple inches, place your left hand a foot in front of your left foot and a little bit to the left. It's fine to be on your fingertips. Transfer the weight into your left hand and left foot and float your right leg up. So ground down through your left heel, draw your left quad up, firm your outer left hip underneath you so your sacrum gently presses in and press your right quad towards your right hamstring. And then reach, lengthen your sternum out of your hips, Draw your shoulder blades down your back. If you can, float your right arm up. And then if you can, turn your head, look up at your right hand. Now deep breaths, breathe into the entire shape of the pose. One more breath here. And then turn your head, look at the floor. Bend your left knee really deep. Come back into side angle pose. Reach your right foot way, way, way back. But this time, place your left hand down to the inside of your bent left leg. So make sure your left heel is lined up with the arch of your right foot. You're pressing your left knee open. Now, reach your right arm behind you, but rotate your back left ribs to the right, like you're turning your torso towards the ceiling. Either stay here or bend your right elbow. Reach your left hand underneath your bent left leg. Grab a hold of your right wrist. So notice again, there's one line of energy from my right heel through my sternum, pulling out and up. If you're hunched over like this, you've gone too deep. Keep your left hand down, just work on opening your chest up. Otherwise, stand on your heels, lift strongly away from your hips, and then take four more deep, big breaths here. With each inhale, try to get a little longer. With each exhale, rotate open a little more. 
One more deep breath here. Exhale it out, rotate as much as you can. Then gently lower your hands down. Come onto the ball of your right foot. Drop your right knee to the floor. Straighten your left leg and fold forward over your straight left leg. So your hips are square here. Outer thighs press in towards each other. As you draw your left femur bone into your hip, push out through the heel. You're reaching in opposite directions to create more space. And then if you can, find a little more length through your torso and maybe go a little bit deeper over your straight left leg. Work slowly and sensitively. Never force or jam. One more breath here. And then you're gonna bend your left knee deep. Place both hands to the inside of your bent left leg. Slide your right knee back a couple inches if you can. And then either stay here, or if that's easy, come on your forearms. So on the inhales, draw the weight of your body forward, get really long, and on the exhales, sink a little deeper into your hips. Stay with your breath here. One more deep breath in. On the exhale, go in as deep as you can. And then straighten your arms. Put your, put your left hand back on the outside of your left leg. Curl your back toes under. Take your right knee off the floor. Step back into a push-up position. Draw a deep breath in. On the exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Draw in one more deep breath here. Exhale it out, step or jump your feet between your hands. On an inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, fold. From here, come into chair pose. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale, reach your arms up. Keep your torso lifting, bring your hands to your heart. Hook your left elbow to the outside of your right leg. Now start in your feet, spread through the balls of your feet, ground down through your heels. Press your shins and your knees and your hips back and firm your outer thighs towards each other. And then look for length. Pull your sternum, your spine away from your hips. And then if you can, rotate your back left ribs to the right. Bend your knees a little bit deeper. Either stay here or extend your left hand down. Reach your right arm up. Three more deep breaths. Draw the breath all the way down into the backs of your hips. One more breath, and then gently look at the floor, lower your hands down, straighten your legs, fold forward. Let all the tension go out through the crown of your head, completely relax. And then other side, bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale, come into chair pose. Bring your hands to your heart, hook your right elbow to the outside of your left leg. Always start at your foundation, heels down, shins, knees, hips back, lengthen your spine forward. And then once you've found that length, start to rotate it open even more. If you can, pin your shoulders back and down. Three more deep breaths. Twist as much as you can on no breath. Then gently lower down, fold forward. On an inhale, pull out and up. Step back to a push-up position. Slowly lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So from here, place your knees on the floor. We're gonna come into a headstand. I'm gonna talk you through it. So for starters, place your elbows down directly underneath your shoulders. So in other words, don't let them be wider or too far in, directly underneath your shoulders. And sometimes you can measure that by grabbing the outsides of your elbows with your hands. Extend your arms out in front of you, interlace your fingers. And I want you to think about karate chopping your wrists into the floor. So the inner wrist press towards the outer wrist. So it's like, headstand is really almost a forearm shoulder stand because so much work is in your arms and in your shoulders. And then I want you to place the back of your neck into the palms of your hands. Stay there, I'm gonna come up for a sec. The back of your 
I mean, the top of your head that you want to be on the floor is the crown of your head, which is a little bit towards the back. It's not the flat part of your head that's towards the front. If I press into this part of my head, then I'm going to jam into the back of my neck, and you don't want to do that. So you keep the back of your neck long, and you put the crown of your head down on the floor, and the back of your head into your hands. Now draw your shoulders down your back away from your ears. If you're not sure if you're doing that, drop, them, drop your shoulders towards your ears, and then draw them back and down. Again, karate chop your wrists keeping the back of your neck long. From here, curl your toes under, straighten your legs. Walk your feet towards your elbows. So you're starting to bring your hips over your shoulders. Now, if you're new to this, and this is scary enough for you, stay here. This is a good prep pose for headstand. Or if you want, you can lift one leg up and then the other. And then once you're comfortable with that, Again, grounding down through your forearms, karate chopping your wrists, you can reach both legs up towards the ceiling. It's fine to do this at a wall. So most of the work is in my forearms and my shoulders. The back of my neck is long. Fix your gaze about two feet in front of you and connect to your breath. You wanna stay calm, strong, yet somewhat relaxed in the pose. So I'm only gonna stay here a few breaths. Once you get better at the pose, you can stay for longer periods of time. If this tweaks your neck at all, come out of the pose immediately and rest in child's pose. Don't ever strain your neck. Again, shoulders draw down away from your ears, karate chopping your wrists into the floor. And then from here, keeping your hips above your shoulders, Slowly drop your legs over your head. Place your knees down. Rest in child's pose and take a couple of breaths here, deliberately softening your neck and your shoulders. And then as another counter pose to headstand, reach your arms out in front of you and come back into downward facing dog. Let your head be really heavy. Let your head hang, almost decompressing your neck. And then we'll go through a vinyasa. Bring your shoulders over your wrists, come into plank. Draw a deep breath in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Jump all the way through to sitting and lie down on your back. <laughs> and bend your knees, put the soles of your feet down on the floor. We're gonna come into bridge pose. So if you have a ponytail in or any sort of hair knot, take it out. You want to have the back of your, knot, back of your neck long and the back of your head on the floor. Lengthen your arms down along your sides. Press into your heels, lift your hips up. Interlace your hands behind you and wriggle your shoulders underneath you. So there's a tendency for the inner edges of your feet to sort of lift up. Ground down evenly through your feet, especially the inner edges. Push into your heels to press your hips up. Press your arms into the floor and reach your hands towards your heels to pull your shoulders open. And then if you can, push your chest even closer towards your chin. Breathe really deep into your belly. Full body breaths. One more breath here. And then release your arms, lower your torso down from your upper back to your mid back to your lower. And now we're gonna come into wheel pose. So place your hands down alongside your ears. Press into your heels. Come onto the top of your head, pause there. Now set your hands up so your hands are shoulders distance and draw your elbows towards each other. So your elbows are shoulders distance. Keeping your elbows drawing in and your knees drawing in, press into your heels, straighten your arms. So notice my legs are not splayed out to the sides. You want the inner edges of your feet parallel, knees drawing in. And then push into your heels, press into your arms. Press your hips up towards the ceiling. Take three more deep, big breaths here. One more breath, go up as high as you can, and then tuck your chin into your chest, 
gently lower all the way down and draw your knees into your chest. Squeeze them in tight, gently rock from side to side. And then grab the backs of your knees, roll yourself up to a seated position. Extend your legs straight out in front of you for a seated forward fold. So your thigh bones draw in towards your hips as you press out through your heels. Reach your rib cage out of your hips and then lengthen forward over your straight legs. So this is a direct counter pose to the back bend. So go in slow. Give your body a chance to open up into it. And draw your deep breaths all the way down your spine and into the backs of your hips. Stay with your breath here. One more deep breath. And then slowly come back up to a seated position. And again, lie all the way down on your back. Bend your knees. Bring your knees towards your chest so arms are down along your sides. Press your feet up over your head towards the floor behind you for plow pose. So from plow, interlace your hands behind your back and wriggle your shoulders underneath you as much as you can. Get your elbows as close towards each other as you can. And then keeping your elbows close, bend your elbows, place your hands on your back and walk them down towards your shoulder blades. And then reach your legs up towards the ceiling. So you're going towards one straight line from your shoulders out through the balls of your feet. Energetically, your legs are reaching up, but you want to soften your belly, soften your abdomen. And just as in headstand, the more experienced you are with this, the longer you can hold these inversions. Inversions are some of the best poses you can do for yourself. Okay, from here, we're gonna slowly drop your feet back over your head. Come back into plow pose. Release your hands, place them on the floor. Using your arms and using your strong abdominal muscles, slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Feel your spine release to the floor. And then bend your knees, drop the soles of your feet to the floor. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Turn your palms up to face the ceiling. And slowly extend out one leg and then the other for Shavasana, the final resting pose. Give the weight of your body to the floor. Soften your throat muscles. Relax the root of your tongue. Soften the skin around your eyes. And let your breath be soft and natural. Completely give in and rest. So stay here for as long as you'd like, 10 or 15 minutes. Great job today. See you at the next sports school class.